We're back now with a consumer alert, a growing issue of buyer beware. Before you make a purchase and then post a negative review online, turns out some businesses are targeting customers for those harsh words, using the fine print to make them pay. And as NBC's Gabe Gutierrez reports, Congress is now trying to stop it. Jen Palmer never thought an online purchase would change her life. We were scared. We were stressed. We, were, we had no idea what was actually going to happen. Her husband ordered gifts from a website called ClearGear.com. She says she never got them, so she posted a harsh review saying these people are horrible to deal with. But then the retailer retaliated, slapping the couple with a $3,500 fine and sending the bill to a collection agency, dinging their credit. Today, Palmer took her fight to Capitol Hill. We never dreamed it would come this far. We really didn't. They're called non-disparagement clauses, allowing companies to take action if a customer's bad review could hurt their bottom line. Senator John Thune has introduced legislation to ban consumer gag clauses nationwide. This is really sort of online bullying. When you intimidate and create an atmosphere of fear that a consumer can't express their views about a product or service online. Right now, the clauses are allowed in every state except California. Only in the last two decades have we even had a thing called consumer reviews, and we're still learning as a society how best to deal with them. Jen Palmer and her husband sued ClearGear, and after years of court battles, were awarded $307,000, though they have yet to be paid. ClearGear's former parent company did not respond to our request for comment. The website's current owner told NBC News the brand will soon be dissolved. A lesson learned in reading the not-so-fine print. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Washington.